Day 10 for this little lady. And day 12 for this big gal. Let's figure out how we got here. We're gonna go take a look back on the week and see what was happening this week. Okay, quick update again. Well, not quick, probably. Throughout the week here, this next week, we'll watch this as this guy starts to take off. Sitting on day six, maybe? Day five, six, something like that. So this is the 2168 Warner, and we got Elsie over here. Hi, Elsie. Here she is. Very hard to see. She's pollinating her back up. So once again, the main vine runs this way. We got a poster in our way. So, sorry, it runs down here. Poster there our way. So we turned the main vine this way. We're growing it out that way. And now that's the main vine. I think it's that one or maybe the one by Elsie. I think it's that one is the main vine now. I have to look in here. But she's got a pumpkin right underneath there. She said it's a really nice five lober, right, Elsie? Yeah. Yeah, looks good. Plant, I mean, yeah, we got our burn back there. This one definitely does burn easier. It's the 2168 Warner burns easier than the 2425 Deletus. That plant doesn't burn as much. Backside, if you look at how big it is, these need to be terminated on this side here in the next day or two on the Deletus. These here have about three, four more days. The Warner, it's got on one vine, two or three days, another vine, two or three days. So terminations will be starting here. Plant health looks good. Can't complain. I mean, you can see the crown of it. We'll go back here real quick. I don't think we've seen a look at the crown. Kind of get an idea. I mean, yeah, these are older leaves, so they're going to have some issues, but for the most part, everything's in good health. Stump, yeah, I don't clean it up. I just keep a fan on it 24-7 until I need to clean it up. I don't know. All looks fine there. So we'll go over and look at the Deletus now. Okay, now we're at the 24-25 Deletus. Hey, Elsie. Can we see her back there working? Yep, kids are working. I didn't even pollinate that one at all. I'll have to go close it up here in a second. But that was all Elsie today. So here we are. Our backup on the 2425 Deletus. This one should open again in probably two, three days. So the backup on this one is exactly the same as uh, the main, two to three days different than the 2168 Warner. So clear out here, long ways. I wouldn't even have any, probably would have, this one would have somewhere in the neighborhood of 30, 32 secondaries. If it, so it's, further out than I like, but I definitely would go with it if if our main guy doesn't go there. Right now it looks good. I think we're on day three here, so, or four maybe, and that one's day six, five, six. I don't know. I'd have to look it up. So, I think maybe day four here. So, this one here, we'll get you a good look at it. Looks very nice. No problems. The leaves on this one here are bigger than the leaves on the Deletus. These are, these are very large leaves. I've got some vines growing here. I'm trying to, sorry, as we talk here, I noticed a vine that I'm trying to direct was growing up into this freaking leaf here. What a monster of a leaf. It was growing into that leaf and the leaf was like holding it down. So, and Elsie's walking around here. Hey girl, what do you think of the plant? Tell them, tell them what you think. Yeah, have you ever seen plants as nice as these before in our patch? I don't think so. Yeah, this is the first time you've seen them this nice? Yeah. That's a good sign. She says it looks good. So giant already. they're giant already. We need giant what? What are we? Pumpkin. Yeah, we don't care about the, <laughs> the lettuce. But speaking of lettuce, very good. I think there's one burnt leaf on this one right there. So. This plant doesn't seem to burn nearly as easily. So we'll give you a look at that, kind of come through here. The main vine on this one comes up around here, goes through here. Quick look at the 2168 from the back side, side to side, very uniform, plant looks good. It's going to take off and fill in. I do have weeds. You can see them up there. They're very healthy weeds. So I need to get rid of them. 
go around the edges pulling the weeds you know even though i have the plastic down i still get weeds still sucks they even grow through the plastic so it is what it is just something that you have to deal with but come here we'll go look at the crown real quick see the look of this guy's crown these leaves look good i bambooed stakes some of them back i, I don't know I think I got one right there that I just went through that I need a bamboo stake it back. Um, uh, we got it in here. We got a, a vine that wants to grow there. Yep, that happens this time of year. So I don't know. I might even just direct that one on the backside here for funsies. And then we got the crown right there. Yeah, little, little cracks, but everything looks healthy, green. So until stuff starts to die, I'm gonna leave that go. I'm not gonna cut anything off until I need to cut stuff off. So quick, quick overview. Next updates will be a lot quicker throughout the week this week. We will see what we got. Keep them growing people. Good luck on those pollinations. See some monsters out there. We go pumpkins. All right, well, we did some work today, so I figured I better do a quick update Saturday June 10th we are sitting on day three for the 2168 Werner and it is looking good very nice shaped pumpkin looks like we're growing so we want it to be the ones we got our dirt blanket set up we got our sand put underneath looks very good changed out the plastic and then we also pollinated our back up it's in here there she is it's just a backup so hopefully I got this vine trained coming out this way that's the main vine right there I know there's other vines in the way then we got all these buried for the day uh, terminations are gonna be beginning here tomorrow on this plant so that'll be the one terminated uh, let's look over here Termination on that one probably in two days. So, very nice Warner plant. All right, now we are standing on the back side, or the front side, I guess, of the uh, 24 25 Deletus. Once again, we're going to be two days after we pollinated that one. So funny, these are like identical, they're twin plants. So, this one's two days behind, so that's day five on the main one we set up our dirt blanket and right there we're gonna have our backup open up tomorrow morning so it looks like a nice one big one you can see the stem it's hard to tell on the camera but that is a really nice big stem on that guy right there so really like how long the stem is on this one this plant is on another level it is growing extremely fast two terminations have been done there i've redirected some vines here so they're starting to pop out a lot of them are almost coming from the pumpkin i've redirected them around and i'll redirect them back here a little bit so pretty crazy pretty crazy plant here it is green and like i told you in an earlier video when it gets a little yellow and you don't have a whole lot of sun not to get worried well there you go you're going to see those leaves are extremely green here and they are extremely green on this side so do not get nervous about that type of stuff if you know what is going on so that's why you got to learn your environment and we'll take one quick look here terminations will begin well that one there probably in a couple of days there's one back here will take a little bit longer and that one there in a couple of days too and that one probably a couple days too so very nice green healthy leaves very nice green plants both plants look good from the front and from the back so look here in a couple of more days and then we'll get this video out to everybody which brings us to today which is thursday june 15th so quick overlook at the plant we're standing above the 2168 werner and it is a 12 day old pumpkin so and as you can see the plant is been terminated we got a couple more two three it looks like that are about ready to be terminated here tonight maybe tomorrow um same with this side of the plant we've got oh i think four five four five 
terminated back in there. That one's ready to be terminated. And then we got two more. This here is the main vine. Yeah. It started back here, comes this way, turn, main vine there. I'm letting it shoot off. You can see some of the side vines are still coming in. Got to fill in our area here. I have a couple of side vines, secondaries, and treachery growth right here. And you can see I'm just kind of diagonal training them this way. So come out in front of the pumpkin this way. So there's a look of the 2168 Warner plant. Over here, we're doing a little something different. The secondary that comes right off of the pumpkin there, you can see it is turned, growing back this way. It's come through here and it is right there. So that secondary is out there. I'm letting some third stage growth. I'm gonna see what fires off the best of these. There's like three vines in here. We'll let them fill. I'll also turn this one. I'll bring this one, the second area, it'll grow in. I want a nice long second area if I can get it to grow all the way to fill in all of this up here. So that's what we're doing here on this plant. One last look at the 2168 Warner. And now we're standing over the top of the 2425 Deletus. It's in there. Here's my backup. My backup will probably be cut off tomorrow, I would imagine. It's in a good spot. I cut off the 2168 Warner right away because it was not in a good spot. This backup is in a very good spot. It'd be very easy for me to move and set up underneath it here. It'd be right at the end of the greenhouse, as you can tell. It's here. This has grown in more of a traditional pattern, the 2425 Deletus. So the vine starts there. It has my little hook right here for the pumpkin. And then it comes right here. And oh my gosh, we're at the end of the greenhouse already. I'm turning it, I'll grow it back over here, let it fill in the area. Secondaries on this side of the plant, I have like three or four of them terminated there. We got several more that are good, nice cobra heads. This side, three or four terminated there. Directing a bunch of the vines around and gonna fill in this area here. That's how I'm growing this one. So there are some vines that have been redirected inside of there. It's, growing kind of at an angle so they're coming around now you can actually see one sticking out right there so it'll kind of fill in this area probably some treachery growth i will also redirect these vines here they're coming here i'll direct them around here fill in this area and then well there will be several more coming off of here that i'll have to fill in the last little bit not a whole lot of greenhouse to go crazy because the greenhouse is a lot bigger than what it was a couple of years ago when I grew the 1990 Marenser. So it's filling in very fast. Can't complain about that. The pumpkin itself, I guess it to be about 18 inches around. So pretty much par for the course for my day 10s. So very nice, excellent stem on that girl. Man, she's big. Shine is perfect. It is definitely going to take off here probably two to three days it will be doing four inches plus a day in circumference so it'll be the same size as that girl in two days which is crazy but they grow really fast at this stage the plant itself will give you one last look looking good i haven't had to cut out any uh, any of the leaves yet so can't complain uh been cloudy so the burn that we were having we're not seeing right at the moment so we will see Keep them growing. Love seeing everybody's pumpkins. Can't wait to see how everybody does this year. Good luck, everybody.